Honey, do y'all see this? Like, do y'all see this right now? Do y'all y'all see this? Y'all see what's happening? This lace moment? Girl, this is the makeup that has been going all over the world. It is out. It is live. Let's play with some makeup together because I'm about to show you guys house laboratories. All right, you guys. I am super, super ready for this video today. Today, we're going to go ahead and do no wig completely bald look, something that I've never done. I'm already ready to get into Gaga mode. As a big, big fan of Lady Gaga, I am so excited to see that she is jumping into the makeup world. Gaga was so sweet. She was just insanely, like, super fun to be around. I was, like, so obsessed with her. I love that everybody at the party was super in black. That was my favorite part because I was like, you know what? What am I gonna wear to Lady Gaga's party? Y'all, I fucking slayed it. I walked into that bitch and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give them a look. She released six new lip glosses. She also released six shimmer. It's almost like a liquid shadow and you can use it any way you want on your body. She also released the new eyeliner. She was explaining what her eyeliner was about, was just the lie of it all. Um, she also released the new eyeliner sticker where it can literally go on any type of eye shape size and form also she came up with like a sticker mask which i'm actually gonna play with today i'm gonna start covering my entire face and bald head so this is all gonna be covered you guys so now let's go ahead and get the foundation on i never really put foundation on my head before so it's so weird to kind of like go this far back yeah, i look like an alien ah! okay i kind of want it to look almost very very smooth and velvety and very like very very smooth as much as I can because I am gonna do a blowout shadow kind of just looking down at my monitor just making sure that is like covered as much as I can and then when I get where I can't actually see anymore I'm gonna turn around because I do have a mirror right here and then I'm gonna show you guys how I do that as well so just making sure this is all even Shout out to House Laboratories and Lady Gaga for inviting me to your guys' party. It was my first time ever in a room with literally the people of the people, you know? Like, let me tell you something. When I tell you it was so eye-opening for me, how people are, <laughs> I can't even explain it. Like, you know, here's the thing. I keep it super, super real. I don't bullshit. I don't play around. I keep it so 100. I, I don't have time to lie. I don't have time to be fake. The thing about me, you guys, is um, I am super, super open arms when it comes to people I'm super super accepting because I've been through it as a child as a kid as a teenager as a entertainer as a drag queen as a gay as a whatever you want to call me I've been through things where people have judged me I have been through things where people made fun of me I don't fuck with people that lie I don't fuck with people that have attitudes I don't fuck with people that are just so negative all the time this is not for me to kind of bash people I'm not a bully this is not me trying to bring people down I'm just keeping this conversation with between me and you super real i'm gonna keep it blunt perfect example you know we're at the party i'm meeting all these people i'm saying hi to a lot of people in one room there's a lot of important people at this party and it was super cool to see everyone out i will have to say i have never seen so many fake people in my entire life like i said i'm not gonna sit here and give you guys the name i'm not gonna sit here and blow it. this is not a, this is not about that i'm just kind of putting this into the world that what i see girl i see a bitch you know just to be in a room with so many people like i'm talking about i was like oh my god i was like son i'm over here fangirling on half these people i'm like oh my god yes work you're gorge let me tell you if i can count how many times i've seen someone that's known in the beauty world fashion world if i can literally have a dollar for every single time I caught someone rolling their eyes after they gave someone a hug. I was like, what? Like, it just baffles me. It stuns me because I thought everybody was like cool and nice and fun and like excited. But I was like, damn. You know how you're like on Las Vegas trip when you're sitting at the Bellagio fountain and you just sit there and you can people watch? Literally at this party, I was people watching everything. I was like literally watching all these beauty influencers hugging each other. And I was like, how are you, baby? And they're like rolling their eyes without the other person knowing. And I was just like, I'm like, oh my God. So the drama is real, y'all. The drama is there. And let me tell you something, bitch. Now, if any of y'all motherfuckers did that to me, and if I ever catch it, I will probably be the first one to say something. I will probably be the first one to be like, you know what? You're so fucking rude. I'm not gonna tolerate this and we're gonna fix this right now. Honestly, it kind of like made me sad a little bit. I was just kind of like, damn, I like follow you. I like you like, but just knowing how you are, shady as fuck, not even a hundred percent. So you guys out there, please pay attention to your little beauty icons, your beauty people, whatever the fuck you want to call them. If they're over here saying they're 100 and they keep it real with you, la 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 la, girl, good luck. 
suck. I don't think that's real because like I said, I'm not gonna sit here and name, I'm not gonna sit here and talk shit, but I'm gonna sit here and do the back of my head because I have to. But when I tell you it was definitely eye-opening, and that's why a lot of people really love me. Now, if I don't mess with you, and I, if I know you and I don't really talk to you, I don't really care for it means I just don't really care for you. And it's because I have legit reasons why. And you are aware of those reasons. It was just really crazy. Like I was standing there, you know, watching people as they enter, they'll come say hi to like someone famous. And then they're just like, they're like this. Hey girl, yes, yes girl, you're gorgeous. I love your outfit. It's just stunning, I love it. When I tell you the fakeness was so fucking real. I was just like, damn, like I need to go. I, it was just stunning to me. Y'all, I'm not really trying to start nothing. I'm just letting you guys know because bitch, I'm very honored to be a part of the beauty community and a part of the world that really is living art. It just baffles me like a lot of young kids and young people in school, you know, don't know too much, you know? Like they, all they know is what they see on Instagram, what they see on YouTube. Yeah, you know, they might be a great makeup artist, but like I would not look up to anyone like that. Like. I just wouldn't look up to anyone like that. And that's just how I keep it. I keep it real, girl. But girl, it made me wonder. And I follow some of them. Here's the thing. As long as you don't do it to me, baby, that's fine. Because you know what? Here's the thing. You do it to me and I catch you. I'm going to ask you, baby, what happened? What did I do to you besides looking fucking stunning that you have a problem with me? What did I do to you? What did I say? There are people out there that are super nice that do not deserve to be treated this way. I don't care how many followers you got. I don't care how many what you've done. I don't, it doesn't matter to me, baby. You're a human just like me. Damn, it was so sad. I was like, well, whatever. But you guys, anyways, the party was sickening. It was fun. I saw a lot of people that I looked up to for the first time. I was like, oh my God, I'm in a gacky right now. She's stunning in person. Like I said, there's just very, a lot of people very just full of themselves you know they come out you know they have their little posse they have their little group of people that just obviously are useless they don't even do shit for the person you know when they have like their little posse i call them little like clout chasers where like they just kind of come out oh my god look at like look at me oh my brows are snatched i'm friends with so and so like are you gagging are you gagging shut the fuck up like girl bye i don't have time for you mamas to all the clout chasers out there good luck baby because honey the clout ain't really for you you know me and it was really cool to see a lot of my drag race sisters that I was so happy to see Alaska, Shangela, Monique Hart. I saw some newer, newer contestants. I kind of really wish Rich Lux was there because Rich Lux would have read these motherfuckers down. I just really wanted to let you guys know. This is kind of like how I'm feeling right now. So I really want to share this with you guys. If you guys are still watching now, I just completely finished doing the back of my head. I'm just really pressing this in. But can I tell you right now, guys, I'm looking at my monitor and my skin feels so smooth. So let's go ahead and start to highlight you don't really need to highlight too much but i cannot just like do makeup and not highlight okay i'm just so happy that negative energy is out now i know why certain people don't fuck with other people you know what i mean like now i i understand i just feel like we need to put all the beauty influencers and icons and people in the industry like that all have a problem i feel like we need to put them in like one room and lock the door let's hash it out let's hash it out like baby what's wrong like what happened like what did i do besides looking gorgeous that you have a problem with. So you guys, I'm just gonna take the highlight and just really highlight the face. Because I have no brows, I really, really wanna spread that highlight around. Everything is set. I'm gonna contour my cheeks just a little bit, you guys. That did that thing. I'm just gonna lightly do a little concealer, just like that, and just really pressing that into the skin. It feels so weird to put makeup on my head. So now we're gonna go ahead and set the foundation completely all over. If you guys want to print screen this and snap this photo right now, because this is probably the only time you're gonna see it. I'm about to look like literally, I just baked cookies all day. Oh my God, look how crazy I look. Ah! Oh my God, if you guys can see, literally my office looks insane. I think I'm pretty set. Just kind of lightly dust everything off. Oh my God. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the gorgeous Set and Refresh Mix from Jeffrey and Morphe. So we're gonna go ahead and just spray this all over. Um, this is the P. Louise Base Pro. If you guys use Kimura Black 10, you guys will get 10% off on any of your colors. I always suggest this one. This is like literally the nude. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my little Jeffree Star Beauty Blender and I'm just gonna really pack this all over my eye. Just like that. Now you're not gonna really see where you put it because it's super transparent. Okay, cool. So that is done. I'm gonna go ahead and use 
Jeffree Star and Morphe collaboration. I'm gonna go ahead and use this one color. This is the fetish color from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Morphe palette. This is the 24G. Um, and also I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of Lime Crime. This is the Venus XL. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the lightest shades out and then we're gonna work our ways in to get it super deeper and darker and richer right here. In the Gaga collection that I'm gonna be playing with you guys. So these are the House Laboratories. This is the Face and Lace. We're gonna be playing with this today you guys so I want to make sure um, I don't go so dark on the top and the bottom um, because I really really want to showcase the lace so first color you guys let's go ahead and do some reds so let's go ahead and just ooh, that's pretty so you just take it you just buff it in like that this is just kind of like the first color oh pretty oh my god I love it I love it I love it I love it so we're just continuing to kind of really buff it out almost think of it like a really really high contour so we're gonna go ahead and add some pinks just to kind of really making it almost really pretty now we're gonna go ahead and bring down the color so let's go ahead and continue to add more of these colors remember you guys out here we're keeping it very very light we're not really doing too much with dark colors here because I really really want to showcase that lace so let's go ahead and change the brush size so I'm gonna go ahead and pick a brush about this size now I'm gonna start deepening this inner corner so this color is fetish in the Jeffree palette so we're gonna go ahead and just start doing like that and just really giving it like that bone structured almost like alien vibe and when you're doing that bring it up a little bit to kind of deepen see how it's almost like pulling out so there's just really no sharp edges no lines it's really blown out that's kind of like the goal here and let's go ahead and deepen it up well, I'm gonna grab some purples and really give it like that nice bone almost like a bruise you know like it's almost like a pretty bruise um let's go ahead and deepen underneath the eyes and really just blend this into the skin and right now we're just really getting all the mats out the way so same thing on this eye um i am using lime crime and what i've noticed about lime crime makeup is that you have to really apply a lot it's taking me longer than i expected but the color is so pretty so just taking it, you guys, blending it out. And I'm just really taking that purple and just really melting it into this fold out eye. Oh God, it's so fucking stunning. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and deepen it up some more. So now just taking this and just really putting that purple up higher. Oh God, I love that. We just keep on blending this and blending this out. As I turn, I wanna make sure I see no lines. So see here, we wanna make sure this is pulled out. So now we're gonna go ahead and deepen this some more. Now we're gonna go ahead and jump into some black and just really pinch it right here. And y'all know I love blacks. It's gonna really allow me to give you like some eye dimension and shape. Just like that, see? The same thing here. Oh, fucking stunning. I picked out this small brush. Now I have like this little imaginary crease right here. So I'm just gonna really make sure I define it to kind of give it like that nice eye bone shape, just like that. Take the same brush and let's wrap it underneath just a little bit. So now let's go ahead and get some liner on the bottom. Almost like haunting, super smudgy, super hot, just like Gaga. So, so fucking stunning. Now we're gonna go ahead and play with a little bit of a light color. I kind of want my lid to have a little bit of a lightness. So let's go ahead and pick out a really, really pretty light color and just lightly press in into the skin like that. Now it doesn't have to be so perfect. It's just gonna really give it like that nice lid color and let's just really blend it out. See, it looks just so much better. Let's go ahead and blow out the colors with some pink, some oranges, some really, really pretty fun colors so it doesn't look so like dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull a hot pink color and just really press it like right here. Just like that. Oh, wow, it's so pretty. This is gonna really diffuse this color right here into my cheekbone. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and contour my cheeks with just some bronzer real fast before I bring the colors down I want to make sure my bronzer is on and it's not really mixing like if I mix some bronzer in it can get a little muddy Well, I'm just kind of contour a little bit. Oh Stunning. Now we're gonna go ahead and just line my eyes with house lavatories from Lady Gaga She did launch the infamous eye liner. It does say this is matter than matte. This is called punk I actually was playing with this at the party where I was like, okay, let's just play this liner and I put it on It did not come off. You have a really nice sharp liner. Oh, wow. Oh, so stunning. And I haven't even put in motherfucking shimmer yet. So now that's on, everything is set, everything is ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and put some blush around my head just to really soften the edges. So fucking stunning. Oh my God, I love it. I should be bald more often. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put some shimmer on my inner corner. Just a little bit of like a pink shimmer, just like that. 
Wow, such a difference. Just so stunning. Ah, okay, I can't stop looking at myself. So now you guys, the time you guys have been waiting for, this is the full face mask armor from House Laboratories where it literally comes just like this. I'm so excited. This is literally what I'm gonna be looking at. I'm like super stoked to wear this. Let's get this on. Let's get this going. I'm taking it, it's probably gonna look like this. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and peel it off. Oh wow, it's so pretty. I'm literally taking it off just like this. I wanna make sure I do not rip this at all. Oh, okay, that like scared me. We're gonna go ahead and just start putting this on. Ooh. Oh wow. Oh wow, okay, so it literally just sticks on like a sticker. Okay, so the same thing on this side, you guys. So I'm just literally taking it like this. This is so cute for Halloween. This is perfect. Oh. God, that's so stunning. Okay, cool. And I don't even feel them. Like, I really don't even, like, feel them. And that's actually really cool because I don't I don't want to feel them. So these are going to be the under ones. I'm going to actually keep all the lace on top. And on the bottom, I'm going to keep it just very smudgy, smoked out. I'm trying to have my eyeshadow go up and pulled out. Almost like a butterfly effect. So we're going to go ahead and just incorporate this on the top. I kind of like that right there. I do love that. So let's go ahead and press that in. Okay, I'm so happy I did that. So let's go ahead and repeat the same thing, you guys. So fucking stunning. I love it. I'm obsessed. So let's go ahead and just make sure it packs on. Now what I'm gonna do with some black eyeshadow is I'm gonna take my black eyeshadow and I'm really gonna pack it on top of the lace. Um, just so my black shadow just really does blend in with the lace. Almost like a smoky effect. Just like that. See that? So it kind of blends in. With one packet, you guys do get four different laces, the two tops and the two bottoms, tops and bottoms. The liner is what I'm gonna use to kind of create different laces. I'm gonna actually really blend in the lace by drawing a little bit of mimic lace. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just kind of draw it in so it kind of like repeats itself, just like that. See that? It just kind of looks more lacy. See that? See the difference between this and this? I really, really love the eyeliner. So now that it's on, let's go ahead and get some highlight on. Um, there are little bits that I kind of want to really give a shimmer to. Like, I really, really want to brighten up my inner corner. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out my Jeffree Star. This is Diamond Wet. And just really give it, like, that nice little kick like that. These, like, the little minor details that you, like, you know what? It's necessary, bitch. It's fucking necessary. Oh, my God. It's stunning. Woo! I love it. So let's go ahead and blend that out. And let's get some lashes on this bitch. Now, you guys, I really, really want big, big fucking lashes. So as that dries, I'm gonna go ahead and take this time to show you guys the other things that come with House Laboratories. She did came out with the wing liner sticker. Oh my god, you guys, look at these little cute wing liners. So I will definitely use this for an upcoming video. Now, this is the time which you guys have all been waiting for. Lady Gaga House Laboratories lip combinations. We're gonna go ahead and jump into all her new glosses. She has six different colors. We're gonna go ahead and swatch them, but I already know what color that I really, really wanna do. With the lip glosses, she does come with five new shades of lip liners, and these colors are definitely relatable. These are totally me. Now, I am not a big, big gloss person. My idea of a really, really good gloss is where it's just gloss, shiny, but not so thick and weird. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and swatch the first one. This color is called Entranced. It's almost like a gold. It's like a sheer gold, right? That's kind of sheerish goldish. So this color is called Le Rye. It's like a peach. That's pretty. They are looking a little sticky, but that's fine. So this one's called Venus. Oh, wow. Okay, pretty. So this one is called Blaze. That's pretty. This one is called Attitude. Ooh, that's pretty. That's gorge. And then this one is called Scream. Oh, oh. Okay, bitch. There are the swatches. I know they're the worst swatches in the world, but you guys kind of get the point. It goes from light to dark. Also, we do have the new liquid shimmer powders, um, but I will use this in another video. So you guys, just by looking at it, I kind of already know what color I want. I'm gonna go ahead and pair it with Scream and the liner, Rip Lip Liner. These are both dark colors. So let's go ahead and start lining my lips. Oh, wow. The liner is really nice, actually. Wow. Oh. God, it's so gorgeous. Because it's just a gloss, I'm just really gonna cover up my lip and really give it like that nice even layer of plum. Now we're gonna go ahead and take the gloss and let's start applying. Wow. Oh my God, she just changed the gloss game. Oh, voila, honey. She is on, she is late. She's giving the bald look. What do you guys think? I'm obsessed. 
I'm so obsessed. You guys, this is the first time I'm playing with face armor. I love that she called it face armor. It's so like hot and sexy. I literally have never done stickers on my face before. So this is the first time and I actually don't even feel it. I feel more of my lips than the actual lace. So that's pretty awesome that I don't feel it. The gloss, I don't really feel so much. It is glossy. I do feel um, a little bit of a stickiness to it, but I mean, it's lip gloss. It has to stay on. I love you guys so much. And remember what I said in the beginning of the video, be humble with each other, be nice, be sweet, be cool with one another. You know what I mean? Like just keep it real. You guys, it's just makeup. Hit that subscribe button, you guys. I will see you guys in a few days with another fun look. Mother Monster, I love you. Mwah.